my name is Chris Caius. I'm the National Service Manager for Standard Changemakers. Today I want to talk about an update that will greatly enhance the reliability of our 9K hoppers used in our MC series changer lines. We do this using a baffle kit that was designed to limit the amount of weight in coins directly over the moving parts of our feed mechanism. This is a simple installation using simple tools, so let's get started. The tools we're going to use today are a Phillips head screwdriver, a straight edge screwdriver, needle nose pliers, and a 7 16 inch wrench. The kit for each hopper will include the upper baffle and mounting hardware, the lower baffle, and the instruction sheet. So the first thing we need to do is we need to remove the hopper. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the door. We're gonna cut the power off, and we're gonna dump the coins out. Once the coins have been dumped out, you're gonna go ahead, open up the hopper door, you're gonna unplug the cables. They each have a little tab that you press to release the cable, and this round cable just pulls out. Once the cables are unplugged, go ahead and shut the door, tilt the hopper forward slightly, and then lift it straight up and off the mount. Now that we removed the hopper, let's go ahead and install the new parts. We're gonna do it first by removing this upper cassette. We have these four screws, one on each corner, that I need to remove to pop that off. The other thing to take notice is you'll see that the hopper on one side it overextends, the other side it's flat. So when you go to put this back on, you want to make sure that the flat side is on the chute side. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this. And pull that off and set it aside. Okay, so then what we have to do is we have to replace this lower, ba uh, lower baffle. And to do that, we're going to lift up the baffle, and we're going to use a pair of needle-nose pliers, and we're going to bend back these little tabs over these posts. Actually, you can just do one side. Now, if you see the difference, obviously the new baffle is much wider, and that's going to support more coin. So to put those back in, we put these two, po or these two tabs back over the post. It might help to bend them in just a bit to get them over that. So I'm gonna slide it over top, and I'm gonna use the straight edge screwdriver to get those lined up. And once they're lined up, I'm gonna insert this through the upper slot and bend those tabs back a bit. That's gonna secure it inside. These little ears on this front part of this baffle will rest down on the, on the funnel. Okay, so next we're gonna take the upper baffle and we're gonna install it into the cassette. We're going to use the hardware included. We're gonna use two from the back side and one of them through the front side. We're gonna use the holes that are already in the hopper cassette so there's no drilling uh, needed. So right now, I'm only going to finger tighten that. So now I'm going to use the wrench and the screwdriver to tighten this. I'm just going to put the wrench over the nut, like so, and I'm going to tighten this down. Just tighten it down snug. So now I'm going to go ahead and take this cassette and put it back onto the hopper base. I'm going to make sure that I have the flat side pointing towards the chute, and these little edges are going to go over and fit over top of that. Okay. And once they're in place, I'm going to use the four screws that I used to remove them before and put them back in. Now that we got the baffles installed, we're going to go ahead and reinstall the hopper back into the machine. Okay, now that we're ready to put the hopper back in, first I want to make sure these cables are centered so they don't get pinched. I'm going to go ahead and set the hopper back in, post into the, into the groove here. I'm going to tilt the hopper back in and rest it flat. Open up the door, go ahead and reconnect the cables. I got a green cable going in the green connection, white cable going in the white connector and I have the power 
going into the round connector here. After we get the cables connected, we'll go ahead and shut this door. We're gonna fill this hopper back up with coins. We're gonna power it up and we'll run some money and see how this thing works. Thank you for watching our video. I hope you found it helpful and beneficial. If you have any other questions, you can contact our service department at 1-800-968-6955 or go to the web at standardchange.com. Thank you and have a great day.